Welcome, my dear Libras, to your weekly reading from the 8th to the 14th of August. We're going to go ahead and see what the energies are that are coming in for you this week. Now, just remember, if the energies that come in do not, and the messages that come in don't relate to you at all, not to worry. It just means that this is not meant to be your reading at this time. And you can go ahead and look at your moon rising and Venus signs, because they could have more relevant and more applicable info for you. So I'm just going to pull all the oracle cards because this gives us like the core energy. Then I'm going to clarify. We've got justice, realization, and travel. Oh, interesting week coming up for you, Libra. Let's go ahead and get some tarot. And then we're going to see what this is all about. Judgment. Wow. Justice, judgment. Big, interesting week coming up for you. We've got the moon because we oh, just under can, and isn't that doesn't that make sense under realization we've got the moon so something that was hidden something that you didn't know comes to light okay very interesting right first and foremost this week there is going to be you know with the, with justice and judgment coming in here there. This is interesting for me, um, Libra, because this is like a very deep kind of calling, okay? It's like a deep calling for to take action. And it could be in a situation that you feel is unjust, okay? That you want to stand up and say something about it. It could be something relating to you, something relating to other people, but there's something that could have happened. And you know, it could have been even something that, you know, happened to somebody you know, but you just, there's like a feeling like you don't want another injustice to happen, okay? And I just, please take this as it resonates. It just could be that somebody at work was, like unfairly dismissed it could be that your um one of your friends or 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 siblings or anything like that was very badly treated in some kind of context or anything like that so just take it as it resonates but this is like you are so driven here to take some kind of action it's like you know i do not want another injustice unfair behavior to to go past unnoticed this is this is you saying i'm going to stand up it could be for you and like i said it could be for for somebody else for a lot of you guys I'm, I'm going to be honest with you this could also have a lot to do with it could be with you in a work situation or you in a love situation so you could feel like somebody at work treated you very unjustly or did, did you a dirty and you're like i'm not letting them get away with it or it could be maybe your partner your partner had a little bit of a misbehaving kind of episode and you're like mm -mm, no this time I'm just going to talk this out I am not going to just let it lie under the water and going um, unsaid and unnoticed because you've got a big realization coming in this um, this week Libra you really un have a realization that you cannot no longer can you just keep quiet for the to to keep the peace, you know, not to, you know, this walking on eggshells business, you coming to a great realization that sometimes keeping the peace, I'll keep doing that guys, okay, and keeping quiet, you know, then not, not to rock the boat, it's not working for you anymore. It's not working and there are certain times, Libra, you're going to realize, I'm going to rock that boat and if it has to topple over, well, tally-ho and off we all go. You know, understand, you're like, no. No, I am not accepting any kind of unjust, betraying, lying, unfair behavior. It's not working for me. It's not working for me. And keeping quiet, you realize, is not the way to go. It's not the way to go. So it's a big realization. You are rocking the boat. I have to tell you that it's going to make you feel so good. It's going to make you feel so good, Libra, to rock that boat because we've got the star card com coming in. Yes, you're going to absolutely ruffle some feathers. I'm not going to lie to you. There are going to be, and we see some feathers here ruffled, and that's fine. Not everybody is, you know, you, some people, you just, we just, sometimes, you know, guys, I know it sounds really funny, but you sometimes you do people the biggest favor by calling them out. 
Okay, I'm going to give such a silly random example, but I just want to, to, to try and drive my point home. If your significant other is always going out with the mates after work and coming home 9, 10 o'clock, and you keep quiet because you don't want to have a fight, okay? Can you, and, I, and this is now eating you up and making you sad and making you lonely and you're just keeping quiet, but really it's just making you totally and utterly miserable. Yes, it might bring up a fight. But there is, with the star card coming in, it's telling us you can make you can make it work for you. You're like, okay, if it means so much for you, you go out with the, your mates twice a week, but the five, other five nights of the week, you're home at like six o'clock. There's, there's a way of doing it, of making a compromise, because if I've got the star card after this, it tells me you figure this out and it works for you. This is like a wish fulfillment, almost like your wishes coming true. You can figure this out. So please take my random example and try and fit it into your life circumstances because I think that will make a lot more sense. And I'll tell you, that's the, the person that you're going to do it for initially, initially might be a little bit, you know, like I said, their, their tail feathers might be a little bit unraveled. They might be a little bit, you know, a little bit grumpy. That's okay. That's okay. Let them be a little bit grumpy because what you will do, you will just show them and you will just tell them, look what we've got, right? Look what's still standing. Let's not focus on, you know, the, the, the nights you're not meeting the mates. Let's focus on the nights we're together. You know, we can go out for dinner. We can start a new class together. We can snuggle up on the couch, right? There's, there's the two of us. So I wouldn't take that little ruffled those ruffled feathers too too quickly and I like this because the travel card just tells me there's going to be a change there's going to be movement you know by you standing up and being heard things are going to change very very nice very nice I like that Libra because I see your I see this incredible strength coming through here and you really you you know of course it's Libra it's all about the scales right it's all about justice okay these jumps so I'm going to take them Libra three of cups um, nine of what? Nine of, oh, sorry, page of wands and nine of wands. Right. Let me concentrate on one card at a time. Okay. This is going to be very good for you. And I actually do believe it's going to be very good for the people involved. Like I said, whatever that is, or whoever you're standing up for, for yourself or others, that's going to be, it's going to work out well for you guys. Okay. And it's because of you, Libra. And it, it just, with, with our page of wands here, it just tells us that this feeling of always being, you know, like if this is your really, you, this is you walking on eggshells, this nine of wands energy. It's like, it's over now. The star comes underneath it saying, come on, Libra. You're all about justice. You're all about bringing in that fairness. You, you, that's that's who you are. You see it. You see it more clearer than all of us. So speak your truth, and you don't have to hide anymore. You don't have to, you know, play it small because it's the best thing for everyone concerned. Wow, I love that reading for you. The power of Libra. Right, so let's go now and get one more card. Just the final message from Spirit for this week. Oh my goodness. Stag Spirit, take the lead. That is it. You are taking the lead. This is, I told you, this is the power, the power of our Libra this week. Amazing, amazing. So there you have it, my dear Libras. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It just lets me know that you like this kind of content. You can go ahead and subscribe as well. I would greatly appreciate that. And I'm wishing you all a most wonderful week.